So we found this great little spot here last night, just staying for the one night. But we found a lot of weird stuff that people dumped here that we're gonna take back. Here, let me show you. But wait, there's more. I don't know where we're gonna find a spot to dump this, but we can just leave all of it out here. Leave a comment down below. What's the weirdest thing you found that someone's dumped while camping? What a pain to find a spot. Yeah, we were really hoping that since it's Labor Day that a lot of people would be heading home and we did see quite a few people leaving when we were coming in, including another van lifer. But I don't know where they were camping unless they were all camping on some of these spots that are on top of each other, which is not where we want to camp. But we finally found a spot. Yeah. It's 2.30 though, so it took us quite some time. Yeah, we, uh, we stopped and had lunch and kind of bided our time for some people to leave late or for some of these people that were just up here for the day to head home and they finally did and so we snagged one. Time to go fishing! What I need to do is fish since we got here. My pole literally breaks my first cast. So I just snapped the top off that broke. Any fisher whose uh, angler is actually watching this, I'm very sorry because I know it's a sin of some sort, but I really wanted to fish. She's fishing. I have a few things on my to-do list. Um, I'll continue reading, of course, uh, but I also want to finish reorganizing some interior parts of the van that I didn't get finished yesterday. And I need to take a look at my reading lamp over our bed because it stopped working randomly last night. Find out what's going on with that. All right, hey everybody. Um, I finally decided to put my book down and get dressed for the day. So like I said earlier, I have a few to-dos that I want to get done while Katie is out fishing. Um, one of them is this reorganizing project I've been working on, kind of pulling things out of the front that after this time we've been on the road we haven't used at all. Moving them to the back and just kind of resituating things in a better, more convenient area. Inside items, there's some things I want to go over on the van uh, that I haven't checked maintenance-wise since we left home. And then trying to figure out what's going on with this light in the back. First things first, I got to clean up this mess because it looks like a tornado hit this van after both of us getting up this morning. <laughs> Thank you. 
I know that this is um, probably not the most exciting thing to see, but uh, like we've said in the past, um, you know, van life isn't all rainbows and unicorns, and we want to be real with you guys and show you that, you know, it's not just every day sitting next to a beautiful river fishing in it or, or breeding or playing with the dogs, um, that there is a lot of kind of day-to-day stuff that goes along with um, living in a small space. challenges I think we've had so far in living in the van is all of our crap and where is it going to go? Right Sumo? <laughs> um, I think we're both kind of disappointed that we didn't get to leave on our planned timeline earlier this year. However, Sumo, you know? I think we're both a little disappointed that we didn't get to leave on our initial planned timeline earlier this year, but I'm a big believer in that everything happens for a reason. And so I think leaving later in the year like we did and then having to return home for the holidays is kind of giving us a preview before we leave next year to be gone to Alaska for the entire year. Um, so one of those things is figuring out what we're using and what we're not using and reorganizing based on that. One of the things that we have that has been driving me absolutely insane uh, since we left is we have this box underneath the sink that's supposed to, at least my intention was, is supposed to hold like the kitchen items, right? and. Um, some of those things we haven't been using, some of them I think can go somewhere else. So that's the final thing that I'm trying to clean out. So here's the current state of the box. As you can see, uh, we have our Ninja um, Instapot thing uh, that we thought we were for sure going to be using at least once a week on the road. We have yet to use this. Um, so. I think that's probably going to get the boot uh, when we return back to Arizona at the end of the year. Um, and we have just some other random things in here, some cleaning things, food, food has ended up in here. Um, we've got our little laundry scrubba thing. Uh, we have our, our sous vide which uh, will probably be staying and you might be asking yourselves why why on earth do you have a sous vide in your van well number one i'm married to someone who really really likes to cook and number two this actually doubles as a heater for our shower so uh, we plug this in on our shower days to our little portable big kahuna shower and warm up the water temperature to basically whatever temperature we want it to be. Some good news and some bad-ish news um, on the light project. So this is the light in question. And like I said, the weirdest thing happened last night. I was just getting into bed and the light turned on on its own and would not turn off, would not respond to any function whatsoever, and then it just kind of slowly faded out and the light went away. And after that, I couldn't get the light to work. The power still worked because it has a USB and I can charge my phone, um, but it also wasn't working this morning. So I dug out the toolbox, tried to take it apart, um, with this and I don't know if it's stripped or what the deal is from when I installed it but I could not get it apart so I decided to just reset the 12 volt and see if that made a difference 
And... Now it wants to work. All right, last project of the day is reorganizing the garage. Now it's Miller time. Hey, thanks so much for joining us this week. We hope you enjoyed our tour of the East Fork of the San Juan River. Maybe we'll do the West Fork soon. True. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below of your favorite fishing spot in Colorado. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and check out our Instagram for all of our in-between times. Once again, thank you so much and until next time, bye! bye.